On a recent outing to Costco where you can buy a dozen eggs and four tires simultaneously, we came across this, the Trinity Bamboo and Metal Shoe Rack. It's a two pack. It measures 27 and a half inches wide, 11, almost 12 inches in depth, and almost 16 inches in height. They can be stacked side by side or one on top of the other. Let's take a look. Upon opening the box, we discover the owner's manual, some bamboo rectangles, a parts kit that includes dowel rods, some screws, and a tool to use the screw with. And then underneath it is the shelf itself with the metal bars. And this really looks like there isn't much to assemble. Looks like we're just gonna have to attach that to this. This is what it takes to assemble one unit. You need your side frame, and note it has a round end, which is normally the top, but if you decide to stack two of these together, then you're gonna have a round end on the floor because this flat end gives you a place to put some dowel rods so that you can connect the other unit, like so, and then the top of that would be rounded. But for right now, we're just assembling one unit. So we have rounded corners on top, screws. There's an opening that's been drilled out for you and you simply I'm going to put that screw in there and that screw will connect right there and there's another one up there then when you put on the top rack that'll also mate here so basically you know it's just a screw on either side of the frame attaches to this like so and does this have a top or a bottom? Well, there's Trinity marked on one side. And if you look on the other side, there's some screws. Uh, so I would think you probably, even if you don't want to show the branding, it just looks prettier with the branding up because you're not showing any screws. Same thing for the top rack. Then the side rail, again, you have four screws and the two bottom ones made to the bottom rail, and the two top ones to the top, top rail. Starting off on the right hand side, again, curved side is up. We put in the bottom rail, attach a screw, and that's initially you're just going to hand tighten. Put the screw on the other side, and again, you're going to hand tighten this. Now, the screw head is a hex, an Allen key, and there is one included with the kit. So you really shouldn't need any tools. You could get a, a drill driver to do it, but then you probably might strip something out because you don't need that much force to get these things to attach. Hand tighten it and then just use this to snug it up with one side done. We come over to this end and we just repeat the same procedure. Again, with the squared side towards the bottom and put your screws through on the back side coming through and attach them here. With the right side attached to the rails and the left side attached, all we have left to do is to put the upper rail in place. And again, you're just gonna Use one of these screws and, oh, by the way, I just wanted to point something out that the screw is not actually going into wood. It's going into metal, which is nice. It gives it a little bit more strength and less chance that you'll strip something out. So attach those four points and then we'll have completed one unit. When fully assembled, it should look exactly like this. This will hold your shoes, your boots. It's not for sitting on. 
it's not a bench. So uh, if you have kids, just let them know that. Now you have a choice to make here. You can either build the other one exactly like this and just put it right next to it. Or if you want to stack it, then one of these has to be the bottom. So for simplicity's sake, let's make this one the bottom. So I turn it over. Now we have the square side looking up. Now, of course, if we were gonna make this the bottom, I probably should have turned these shelves over so I wouldn't see these screws. So maybe I'll keep this one as the top and I'll build the other one, but I'm gonna build the other one so that the side rails have the opening for the doll on top and then these shelves are gonna be turned over so that there are no screws exposed so that you're looking at Trinity. So if this is the bottom unit, let's pretend I've built this and this is the bottom unit, then this would say Trinity on one side. Then you'll be able to put one on top of the other with the dial rods that'll hold it in place and you'll have, you'll have four shelves stacked together. Voila, through the magic of television. Here is the bottom unit. You can tell it's the bottom unit because it's rounded at the bottom, squared off at the top. That's where the dial rods go. And we see that it has Trinity, so no unsightly screws here. And now we go to the other rack, which is curved at the top, still has Trinity visible, thus hiding the screws that are that go underneath. And now all we're gonna do is put our dowel rods here and here, and that will mate with the holes down here and here on both sides. And then we'll have a double height shoe rack. Now you may want, I'd, I'm probably gonna do this laying down, just put the dowel rods in between and then just squeeze those together. If you want, you can put a little dab of glue, carpenter's glue, um, so it's a bit more secure. If you feel like maybe in the future you're gonna take it apart because you're gonna move or you're in an apartment, then you can just put in the doll without any uh, adhesive and that's fine also. You may want to, depending on what your flooring material is, put a little felt pad or a, a rubber stop of some sort so that um, either you can make it easy to glide on the floor or just it prevents it from like marring wood. If you're going on carpeting, then just bare is fine. Here's a shot of all four dial rods in place. And I just push those in with the palm of my hand. And now I'm just gonna align them and squeeze that together. And you see, so far, no need for a rubber mallet or a hammer. They line up, you squeeze together, and voila. Now, let's stand this up. And there is our four level high rise shoe rack. I really like this. This is, uh, again, bamboo with little metal bars in between. It's very light. And I think it's gonna be very nice for holding a bunch of shoes that somebody needs to uh, take care of. Uh, the fasteners are metal on metal, which is great. Once they're in, they're hidden on the side. Nice finish. Uh, overall, I'm really happy with this Costco purchase, and I believe the whole thing was just like, it was under $40, so I think it was even closer to $30. Uh, if you found this video interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team, and as always, thank you ever so much for watching.